Once again, thanks for tuning in. Holly Shields here for Calcade Media. The latest report by financial watchdog, the Australian Prudential Regulation Authority, or APRA, revealed that 13 big name funds have failed the performance test, which had assessed nearly five years of performance history against the objective benchmark. Inaugural My Super Product Performance Test, introduced as a part of the Australian government's Your Future, Your Super Reforms, assessed a total of 76 superannuation products. With 13 big funds failing the test, naturally the fund members would be concerned about the road ahead. So with that said, here are three things you can do if your superannuation fund fails the APRA test. Before we get into it though, please give our channel a sub and hit that bell icon to stay ahead of the game. First of all, wait for a letter. According to the latest laws, the funds that have failed the APRA test would now have to send a standardized letter by the 27th of September to their members explaining the test outcome. As already discussed, the funds are required to pass next year's test or start planning to transfer their members to a fund with better performance. Next, you can compare returns. The letter will advise members about well-performing funds on the government's U Super Comparison tool, which ranks their annual performance over seven years and the fees charged. The members can assess the performance and accordingly shift to other funds. So how can switching to other funds help? Well, funds with better returns can potentially help members to save thousands of dollars more for retirement. For instance, members could be 20% better off at retirement by earning just 1% higher net return over a 30-year period. Investors are always advised to conduct detailed research or consult their financial planner before making a financial decision. With that covered, you might be wondering which superannuation funds failed the APRA's test. Well, without sugarcoating it, let's go through them. Those funds include AMG My Super, Commonwealth Bank Group Super, Energy Industries Superannuation Scheme Pool, Colonial First Aid First Choice Superannuation Trust, a Labor Union Cooperative Retirement Fund, Maritime Super, BT Super's Retirement Wrap, Asgard Independence Plan Division 2, Australian Catholic Superannuation Fund and Retirement Fund. The Victorian Independent Schools Superannuation Fund, BOC Gases Superannuation Fund, AV Super Fund, and Christian Super. Now that you're up to speed, check out some of our other videos to boost your financial IQ. And if you like this info, please give us a like, share, and a comment, and sub to our channel. For regular updates, head to our website at calkinemedia.com. This has been Holly Shields for Calkine Media.